There's already a victory rally of uh, people who've been brought in to uh, support his results outside the Kremlin walls in the center of Moscow. So that is already sending a message across the nation here on television that he's victorious and jubilant about it. And the 60% uh, is quite a high result, isn't it if, it, if it does come down to those final figures, because it gives him more than the required 50%. Plenty of margin there, yes, if in fact it turns out that these exit polls were over-ambitious. It is in line with one of the last opinion polls which was published earlier in the campaign that predicted that across the country, even though there's been a lot of criticism of him here in Moscow, he would get up enough figures to be around 60%. Many people in the opposition had been a bit suspicious of that and said that they thought the mood across the country was far more questioning of Mr Putin and there might be a bigger protest and indeed enough people voting for other candidates, possibly to force him into a runoff if he got less than 50%. Well, that's not the way it looks like tonight, but this probably isn't the end of the story because in the first place, opposition activists and independent monitors have through the day and especially this afternoon been talking about violations, especially people who they think might have been bussed from election station to election station to vote more than once, and they want that to be investigated. And I think the other very interesting thing this evening is that live on Russian television, we've seen some of the other candidates, who of course lost out to Mr Putin according to these exit polls, already come out and say publicly, and therefore heard across the nation, that they're not happy with what has happened. The billionaire businessman, uh, Mikhail Prokhorov, who came third according to the exit polls, has said he's heard of numerous instances of violations and he'll be taking them up with the authorities. And the communist candidate, who in the past has sometimes seen rather loyal to the Kremlin, was scathing about Mr Putin, said that he was the wrong man to lead the country and that this was a dishonest election. So there's less loyalty to Mr Putin from other candidates and I think there'll be more criticism for him from those who feel they lost out in this election. There's due to be a large rally here tomorrow. It's quite possible there'll be a lot of people at it.